Hey guys, Will Curry, How to Tesla here, and today we're gonna do a couple things. One, we're gonna head to Snoqualmie Pass, and we're gonna get this thing in the snow, see how it performs, get in some slop, um, and really just stress test the all-wheel drive system. Um, I know it's good, but I kinda wanna get an indication of how good, so we're gonna go and do that today. We're also going to install the Jetta wireless charger. I just received it a couple days ago. I wanted to wait until now to install it, so let's go. So uh, this is the Jetta wireless charger, and I'm kind of shocked that I even have to install something like this in my Tesla Model 3, it being one of the most technologically advanced cars in the world, you would assume that it would come stock, standard, with a wireless charger, but alas, it does not. Um, there's a few options out there on the internet. This one's by Jetta Wireless. It's getjetta.com, G-E-D-A. Um, there's a couple options out there, I think two or three, um, ranging in price between $79 and $150. I got this on sale for $99. Um, so let's throw it in and see how it does. Okay, uh, here's the box. Let's open it up real quick. It's probably the most unsatisfying unboxing videos you guys will ever see. Okay. Oh, actually, we'll need to, you'll need to see that, right? Yeah. Okay, so you've obviously got the charging panel here. It's dual sided, so obviously you can have a, a phone charging at the same time feasibly on both sides. Um, the connector cables to the USB ports in the um, in the bay here. Um, pretty simple. There's not much to it, um, and it's fairly self-explanatory. So I'm not going to even go through the instructions. <laughs> Let's install this guy and get to it. So I'll set that there. Open this guy up. Okay, so um, in editing this part of the video, I realized that I wanted to gouge my own eyes out, so I don't expect you guys to sit through the next five minutes of the video, so let's move ahead. Um, close that up, and voila, we have a nice wireless charging solution that seems to be pretty stable. Um, let's throw the phone in and see how it charges. There we go. It's charging. This is great. This is good news. So we have installed the Jetta wireless charger. I'm happy with it. I think it's a great solution for me. It's not the quickest one. If you want a quicker charge, direct connection is always going to be the way to way, way to go. Um, but for me, it's just supplemental um, between what I do at work and what I charge at home. I think this is a great, great solution. So um, it's also nice that I won't have to sort of fiddle with uh, uh, cords when I want to, you know, do a quick pickup and, and read a text while in park. Wink. Um, so now let's go find some snow and see how this thing does um, on hills. So this minivan is stuck and I think they're just motioning me to, to go back by so I'm gonna do that. I think the biggest uh, the key difference between that car and this car apart from this one having all-wheel drive is just that I could tell that that car had bald tires and really when you're driving in any conditions uh, the wear on your tires makes most a difference you know I have snow tires on our Volvo for the winter time this is in the all-season um, stock wheel and entire um, combo that came with the car so I think this is gonna perform really well we'll, uh, we'll find out soon Okay, so we're in some snow right now, and the, the, the thing about this snow is it's been pretty well tracked, so it's really compact. 
that should provide actually a little bit more of a challenge because it's more of like a thin sheet of ice than it is any like fluffy untouched snow. Actually, that's a really good road over there. So I'm going to head, I'm going to do a little loop and I'm going to go back that way. Okay, here we go. We are going to go for it. Follow the Subaru up, get a little bit of speed, and here we go. So far, I have no problems. No problems, no problems. I can, I can feel the traction control reducing power, though. It's saying, hey, we, we got this, but, but... I'm not going to give you full send power. I'm not going to give you that full send power because I don't want you to kill the car. So I can feel, yeah, probably a 40% reduction in power right now. I have the throttle engaged by maybe like 30%. Um, I'm getting sideways a little bit, but um, for the most part, I feel fairly safe. Um, so that was pretty low drama. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna turn around. Okay, so now we're going back downhill. Yeah, I don't know. This thing is doing really well. So the, um, the regenerative braking is pretty clutch. I'm not having to really use the brakes. I'm not using the brakes at all. It's all I'm doing is managing acceleration through through throttle input, light throttle input, maybe like 10 to 15%, um, and I'm going about 16 miles per hour right now. So yeah, I feel good. And we're back towards the bottom of the hill where we left the truck. Guys, short story is the Model 3, I mean, feels as good as any Subaru out there, um, and that's really sort of my benchmark for all-wheel drive systems is, is the Subaru. Um, Felt good, felt good. Hopefully we can find some deeper powder at some point in the near future um, to really put this thing to the test, but for the most part, I think this thing does extremely, extremely well. Thanks for watching.